Hi, I'm Cliff Sanoff, Extension Specialist at Purdue University, and in this video I want to talk to you about aphids. Aphids are sucking insects that stick their mouth parts into the veins of leaves, and then they excrete a liquid sap called honeydew. Now, this honeydew will accumulate onto the leaves and appear shiny in the sunlight. Now, over time, uh, when it accumulates on the trunk of a tree, uh, the branches can turn black with a mold called sooty mold that you see coating the branches in the foreground. The brown, crusty residue on the tops of these leaves is the accumulated sooty mold that has had several opportunities to dry over a couple of weeks. Uh, this can reduce the rate at which the plants grow because it covers the leaves and reduces their ability to photosynthesize. When cars are parked underneath aphid-infested trees, they can collect honeydew on the windshields, as you can see in the spots on the windshield here. And uh, when the honeydew gets onto the paint, it can cause the paint to pit. So we recommend that you wash the cars frequently. Fresh, sticky honeydew on cars, leaves, or sooty mold is attractive to stinging insects like yellow jacket wasps. This can cause a particularly annoying problem later on in the season. In some instances, as in the case of this viburnum, aphids can distort and curl leaves. Although this distortion is unsightly, it is not likely to harm the long-term health of the plant. New growth will eventually hide the aphid injury and the plant will look normal. There are a number of natural enemies that will eventually find and eat aphids. These include flower flies who resemble yellow jackets, but lay eggs that hatch into maggots. Here you see a maggot hunting for an aphid, catching one, and then eating it. Green lacewing adults and their long-legged larvae readily eat aphids. The black and orange lady beetle adults and their larvae are also common aphid predators that clean up aphid colonies. Parasitic wasps will also lay eggs into aphids that hatch into larvae that consume aphids from the inside out, leaving behind a brown puffed shell. In most years, aphids rarely become abundant enough to cause problems uh, with plant health or with uh, honeydew accumulation and sooty mold accumulation. But when you do start noticing honeydew and sooty mold and shiny leaves, you would want to be sure that the problem you're seeing is indeed caused by aphids because there are other sucking insects that can also cause honeydew accumulation. So for that, I'd like to direct your attention to the Purdue Plant Doctor. The Purdue Plant Doctor allows you to get information on thousands of different kinds of problems on hundreds of different kinds of plants. To confirm your diagnosis for aphid, simply type aphid, A-P-H-I-D, and select aphids, which will give you aphid management tips on trees and shrubs, whereas aphids with flowers and annuals will give you tips for managing them on flowers. Click on that link and you will get uh, information about key features <clears throat> such as sticky liquid and honeydew uh, and black sooty mold on leaves. And then of course, uh, the small pear-shaped bodies of the aphids, which are characteristics. You can actually click on that image and you can see the long uh, stove pipe uh, tails on the back of these aphids, which is typical of aphids. You can then unclick that box and uh, review the symptoms uh, that we discussed earlier, uh, as well as aspects of the biology. Get management recommendations. Uh, we focus here on tactics that will conserve the natural enemies that we discussed earlier, including hosing aphids off with a strong stream of water. And then, of course, we get a list of effective pesticides that you could try to use. You can take this list with you when you go to the store. 
in order to to compare what we recommend with what is on the shelf. So please be sure to visit our Plant Doctor webpage and don't let your plant problems get you down.